Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Squid Man, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna be um, reviewing the gun Automatic Peacemaker because, like, my friend requested me to do it, so I guess I'm going to. But first, I'm gonna upgrade it, so it's a bit better now. Um, and basically, I'm just gonna be like playing with it and see how it does. So I'm gonna start out by, um, uh, yeah, let's do a death match on. Um, Hmm, let's go to Night Christmas Town. I don't know why, but I really do like the map Christmas Town, whether it's night or like regular Christmas Town, but whatever. I really like this map, so. Yep, we're gonna go here to try out the automatic peacemaker, and uh, there you go. That was its first kill. Um, that one guy, and it didn't take too long. Um, one thing I want to say about this gun, real quick, um, uh, it, it, it's, um, it's clip or magazine or whatever you call it is like the biggest in the whole game. So it's pretty good. The accuracy is also pretty good, man. Um, I mean, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. The accuracy on this gun is not the best, as I said, but it's still pretty good. Uh, there's a kill assist. Um, all these guys here, sadly, are using really overpowered weapons. So I'm probably not going to be able to get the best gameplay. But hopefully, maybe I will. I don't know, man. But I'm still just there. There you go. I, I was going all out there. Um, one thing, uh, one major thing I want to address about this gun is that it, um, it can't be like reloaded until you pick up an ammo pack. But I guess I can't really complain too much because I mean the gun's clip is so big. And, gosh, you know how annoying it is when you're just, like, trying to have fun in a map. And everyone on the map is using overpowered weapons. It's it's really annoying, dude. But there's that guy. Um, yeah, this guy is using the prototype. Um, as you can see, I did just get, like, two kills with this gun. So, it's not the worst. Um, yeah. Okay, one thing I want to mention is that this gun is, like really good for low level players like in my league it's might not get the job done but for low level players this is like the gun you gotta have um i don't know why that is but it's like it's a really good gun for like low level players so now that we got that out of the way um yeah let's start getting in that gameplay um like uh first impressions it shoots really fast man um, the shots aren't always the most accurate, which is one thing I have to complain about, because, like, you see, they're kind of, like, scattered, um, and they're not always shooting at the exact correct target, but, I mean, I guess it makes up for that with just, like, how fast it shoots, um, so yeah. Uh, overall, this gun's doing pretty well. I guess this gun could be better for higher level players if you, like, upgraded it, but mine is not fully upgraded. Mm, whatever, though. Because I don't happen to have 80 gems at the moment. Or, it was either, like, 80 or 70, I don't remember. Something around the lines of that, but, yeah. Um, I don't happen to have any of that at the moment. At the moment, I just have, like, uh... I don't know, but, like, as you can see, the gun's pretty good. I mean, like, it shoots really fast, and it shoots far, too. Um, it's got a huge clip, or magazine, or whatever you call it, but, um, yeah, I mean, like, it's it's great. Now I'm gonna try 1v1 with it, and see how it does. Uh, let's, let's go to Nightpool, and see, see how that works. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be, like, I, I'm not really expecting anything from it just hoping it will do all right and the gun itself looks really cool plus it comes with the gold skin which is awesome okay i don't know how this is gonna work because this guy is like level 23 um well i mean like i'm level 24 but he's gone invisible and i'm just gonna be trying to get some good gameplay with this gun um but it might not be the easiest because this guy just went freaking invisible and is shooting the prototype. Um, okay, yeah, he's visible again. So I'm going to go back out with a jetpack. Okay, 
and then I'm just gonna go all out with this gun. And he's turned into a demon, which might be a good time to show out how powerful this gun can, like, actually get. Like, you see how fast it fires? Like, it fires fast, and, like, see how many bullets it's firing? Like, that's pretty, that's pretty good, man. Okay, uh, excuse my notifications. I did run out of ammo there. Um, not really surprised, though, because that guy had turned into a demon, and I was having to unload all of my ammo to try to get him to come back to normal. But there you go, look, see, it, uh, it's reloading time it isn't the fastest, but it's not the slowest either, and I guess I can't really complain with the gun that's, like, this big and this freaking powerful, might I add. Um, but yeah, it, it's doing pretty well. Look, see, I just got another kill there. Um, so yeah. And this guy is, like, kind of spamming his level 2 prototype and looks like he's got something else here that he's getting ready to start possibly spamming. I don't know. But, yeah, this gun's, like, actually doing pretty good, man. And he's gone invisible again. Uh, yeah, that's not great. Uh, when people go invisible, it's, like, it's really kind of annoying. And he keeps shooting me with his freaking prototype, so... Like, bro, I don't know what to tell ya. This gun is really good, but it I'm not getting the best gameplay just because this guy's, like, spamming weapons. You know? Like, whatever, though. See, it's doing pretty well, though. So, um... Yeah, I'm about ready to give my official rating of it. Um, I I'm gonna get, uh... Uh, I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna do one more duel, and, uh, then I'll give my official, my official rating of this gun. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, it's doing pretty well. Um, its design is amazing. Its mobility, like, how fast you can move while holding this gun, honestly isn't the best, but it's not the worst either. Um, yeah. The only real problem I currently have with this gun, actually, I, I have two problems with this gun currently, um, okay, number one, it's, uh, okay, this is the main problem with this gun that I have, um, and that's the, like, um, when it shoots, the shots aren't, like, freaking accurate, like, see, like, you can shoot here, like, just standing here, and, like, right at that guy, and the shots are not the most accurate, I mean, like, they're not the worst either, but they're not the most accurate, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, it's doing pretty well, though, like, um, and my second point, point, this one isn't as serious, but, um, yeah, I can, I knew I was gonna die there, but whatever, um, my, my, my second complaint is that it, it you can't reload it, and it only has one clip. But um, I'm not really complaining too bad about this, because this has the biggest clip in Pixel Gun. Like, this is the gun with the biggest clip in the whole game. Um, I, I, I'd recommend this for low-level players, um, because you can, like... With this gun, you can take to, like, miss a few shots or so, just because of, like, its enormous clip. Um... But yeah, it's pretty good, dude. And, uh, okay, this gameplay is a lot better than what I was getting on that, um... Yeah, I've noticed that I get, like, uh, better gameplay when I'm doing 1v1s, and but sometimes it's not the best either. But I guess it, like, all depends. Whatever, though. Um, but as you can see, it's actually doing pretty well. Like, see? There's, there's a kill. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to give my official rating of this gun. Um, this guy just turned into a machine, but, like, can still rate this gun. Look, it just killed a freaking machine. Not complaining about that. It killed the machine. Okay, time for my official rating. Alright, so, the mobility, not the best, but it's okay, because I understand it just because of, like, the size of this gun. The clip size, amazing. Um, the accuracy isn't the best, but, like, it's not too bad either. Um, uh, yeah. So, overall, I'm gonna give this gun a B rating, which is not too bad. But, but, I would recommend this gun for people that are more new to Pixel Gun. Because, like, um, I don't know. This, this gun just was... 
this gun would, like, come in handy for people that are, like, new to Pixel Gun. Um, just because, like, I don't know, man, but it's, like, it's just better for noobs. Um, yeah. If you're a higher level, this gun might not be the best, but if you're, like, just new to this game and whatever, then this is the gun for you. Alright, guys, so this has been my official review. Like and subscribe. See ya in the next video. Goodbye.